the torch has passed to the new generation. My hair is not white yet, <laughs> but I can assure you the stress grows every day. Still, I embrace the challenges. I recognize the weight of my responsibilities and, the, and I value the trust that you place in me. I pledge to serve with humility. I will devote every ounce of my strength to the party, to the government, and to Singapore. What has the PAP achieved in the last 70 years? Our answer is simple. It is Singapore. It is everything we see around us. That, what, that is what we have achieved together. Successive generations of the PAP, our pioneer and Madeka generations, our Majula and younger cohorts, all of us, we did this together with our fellow citizens. Proud as we can be and should be of our history, our focus must remain firmly on the future. Yes, we have succeeded beyond our wildest dreams, but we also face far more formidable challenges. And so the world is in flux. The established norms are fading, but a new order is not yet in place. And amidst this vacuum of global leadership, we can expect more conflict and instability in the world because state and non-state actors will be emboldened to test boundaries, often with little or no consequence. We don't like to see the world moving in this direction, but these are the realities of the world we live in today. And the dynamics will be with us for some time. We're not talking about one or two years and then things will improve. I think we will have to grapple with this perhaps for the next decade or beyond. It means we will find it more difficult to make a living and keep ourselves safe. Above all, we must remain united as one united people. Singaporeans are bound to have different views on global developments, whether it be the actions of America or China or the wars in Europe or the Middle East. But we cannot let our differences pull us apart. It is already tough to be a small country for our voice to be heard. It will be even tougher if our voice is diffused and incoherent. At the end of the day, we must consider the larger national interest and take a united position. Then we can speak with one voice on the world stage and we will be valued as a safe and secure, a stable and reliable nation, even in a troubled and uncertain world. We are tackling the next challenge of our generation, to renew our social compact, to refresh our Singapore dream, and to give every Singaporean the assurance and hope that tomorrow will be better than today. From the very beginning, this has been the PAP's mission. We have stood for a fair and just society for all. We believe that every Singaporean, regardless of race, language or religion, deserves a fair shot in life. That every Singaporean should be duly rewarded for their efforts, enjoy equal opportunities to succeed and be able to realize their fullest potential. These convictions underpin the core pillars of the system we've built in Singapore. It's one that's clean and honest and operates on the basis of merit. Our system works also because of the strong tripartite partnership we've forged over the decades. And it's a partnership underpinned by the symbiotic ties between the PAP and the NTUC. This PAP and NTUC link is strong and vital. We share your conviction that every worker matters and we will continue to advance the well-being of all workers in Singapore. At the same time, we have to adapt to new circumstances and the evolving needs of our society. And that's why we embarked on Forward Singapore, to review our policies, to reset our attitudes and mindsets, so that we can continue to give every Singaporean 
regardless of background, a stake in our nation's progress. So we have a full agenda under Forward Singapore. The changes and transformations we seek are just beginning, and they will continue to unfold over several years. This is what I am most passionate about. Working together, hand in hand, we can chart a new course and build a better Singapore. As your Prime Minister, I have set the tone for my leadership to be inclusive, to engage and listen, and to give everyone a voice and stake in our nation. I have launched Forward Singapore, as I mentioned just now, our agenda, our roadmap for the future. I've initiated a reset of policies. I've announced some of them at the National Day Rally, and there will be more to come. I have implemented new initiatives to engage with our fellow Singaporeans. As your Secretary General, I will renew and strengthen our party. I will put together the best team to serve our people and our nation. I will deepen the symbiotic ties between the PAP and the NTUC. Together, we will fight to win the hearts and minds of our fellow citizens and earn their support and trust through our actions. For we are the People's Action Party. We will always be a people's party, a party of action, a party that builds a better Singapore with Singaporeans for all Singaporeans. So to all Singaporeans, I say, even as we seek your support, the PAP will always be your biggest supporter. We will always be here for you. Your dreams will inspire our actions. Together, let us forge a new path forward and build a better Singapore for all. Majula PAP, Majula Singapura.